What's up guys? <clears throat> Might be a difference in the voice recording on this video, but uh, this is, if you've seen the title, it's the GoPro testing video. So I'm using the GoPro now. It's filming in 2.7K with 60 frames per second. So it's filming is pretty awesome. Uh, today, I'm gonna take you through one of my speed sessions, uh, acceleration, which I do every Tuesday morning. Um, so right now I'm going to my French lesson, uh, which starts at 10 a.m. Uh, got my washing in the boot, I've got to do that before. I have my oats, porridge, breakfast this morning as always. Um, and yeah, so I hope you enjoy the footage. I'm also trying, I want to ask if I've got a head strap for this GoPro. So I'm going to see if the coaches will let me wear it one session just to get some good footage for you guys. I think it'll look really awesome. Um, but yeah, this is the GoPro Hero 5. Uh, there's lots of random footage in this. I'm gonna put up all the footage that I've done over the weekend uh, with my brother. Um, and uh, just test out different, uh, kinda different, I can't think of the word, but I'm gonna try out 4K, go try out 30 frames per second, uh, 1080p, 120. Uh, frames per second. I think this goes up to 300 frames per second, which is insane. But uh, that's the update. That's the morning update thingy. It's a Tuesday morning. Uh, we had a game on Saturday. Uh, yesterday, I did a full body strength routine. Today will be a different uh, routine. Uh, I won't be telling you because I want to reveal that in upcoming videos because I'm in in-season rugby training now. So. I will see you after my French lesson. I'm only Okay, that's the technical side of the sprints done uh, and the repetition of different stance types of sprint. It's very rugby specific, so when you're, rugby, when you're in a rugby game, you're gonna be at the stance. You're gonna be a split stance when you're waiting for the ball to come out from the scrum line out ruck, so you're ready for the ball. Um, when you're uh, working backwards, you're going backwards. If there's been a tackle with a ruck, you're working backwards and then you're going up, Monte. Um, when you're shuffling across, you're drifting on defense and then you're pushing up. There's another example of what I just did. Uh, when you're on your stomach, maybe after you've made a tackle, you need to get back up and go. Um, what else did I do? Uh, the falling sprints, that's kind of just to help on technique. So I have my knee up already, emphasizing the high knee drive. Uh, I'm not a sprinting expert. I just watch a lot of videos. I like to think I know. Uh, I did it in school. I remember some stuff that we got taught. But yeah, that's the main gist of everything I did. Um, now I'm going to do some resisted work. Uh, usually I would use a TheraBand. Not TheraBand, resistance band with my partner, uh, my roommate Buller, but he's not here this morning. Uh, so I've managed to get the resistance sprint out and we have a carpet, that blue carpet there, which I can use. I can't use the pitch because obviously I don't want to ruin it and I can't use the track because it just won't work and they won't let me. So that's next. I'm only this is filming in 4K. You can see the difference. I'll give you 
see some difference. Uh, this slides pretty easily, so it doesn't feel like much of a resistance. But we'll get on with it. It's five sets of one. Um, now I'm going to change this to 300 uh, frames per second. See, it's weird. Okay, so if any of you are wondering, you may not be, but well, I get my sessions, sprint sessions, agility sessions. Uh, the one I've been using for the past three months is from rugby strength coach, Kia. Um, I can't remember his surname, Wellman. Uh, Kia, anyway. Uh, he's, he was from Northampton. He coached Argentina strength conditioning. He's now in Japan coaching a team. He's coached uh, Sonny Bill Williams. Okay, so if any of you are wondering, you may not be, but well, I get my sessions sprint sessions, agility sessions. Uh, the one I've been using for the past three months is from rugby strength coach, Kia. Um, I can't remember his surname, Wellman. Uh, Kia, anyway. Uh, he's, he was from Northampton. He coached Argentina strength conditioning. He's now in Japan coaching a team. He's coached uh, Sonny Bill Williams at his uh, rugby league team, the Roosters. So he knows his stuff. I finished his three months. Uh, Instead of cycling the whole program again, I wanted to change volume to more on the technical side. So uh, at the start, you saw me do the single knee drives. So what I was I was standing here and I was doing this. Um, Kia does some more of that, I think, because of my knee and my legs. Uh, each week, I'm going to implement a tiny bit more. So next week, I may do continuous wall knee drives. Uh, and if anyone wants to know as well where I get these, I got them off eBay, they're £10. Don't buy them, buy the proper ones. Uh, I, can't remember what, I can't remember what they're called there. There's a company name for them, but they wrap around your quad. Uh, those are like one size, supposedly fits all. I definitely can't get them around my legs. As soon as I lift my knee up, it breaks. So that's why I wrap them around below my knee. No other reason. I would prefer to have them higher, but I will invest. Uh, and obviously the blue band is I can't remember how much resistance, but the more bands you go up, the higher the resistance. I'm babbling. Um, so yeah, a bit more info. I do this every Tuesday morning. Um, Tuesday is usually a high intensity day. So I would do this in the morning, legs in the evening, training, rugby training in the evening, and kicking beforehand. But I found when I do that, it puts my knee in severe pain for the next couple of days. I can cope with it, it's easy, but it's just the pain. So uh, instead, I've altered it. So today, yesterday, I do a full body strength day so I can get my legs in, but not as much volume. Today, sprints only with a upper body hypertrophy. Wednesday, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on that day. Thursday's a full body power day. So uh, that's the in-season program. I'll take you through all of that soon. I know there's a lot of talking in this, but there's a lot of stuff I wanted to get through. Also, where did I get my spikes? These beautiful bad boys, uh, I got them off eBay, amazingly, £30. So uh, anyone wants to get spikes, don't buy, well, you can buy brand new ones, but I found these are supposedly used. They're brand new off eBay. So that's all my equipment. Uh, this, I got that off eBay. The plates come separate. I bought four 5kg plates, so 20 kilograms, which were uh, £30 total. The uh, sled was £20. Uh, I have tape around it because uh, the bolts uh, rusted and came loose because I, when I was running in the rain, I didn't take care of it. So take care of your equipment. And that's everything. And yeah, if you don't have a track, it doesn't matter. This track has only been open for a week now at the rugby stadium. Uh, I usually run on grass. It's just as good because it's relevant. You're on a rugby field. I use this because I can and I like to. So about three and a half minutes talking. If you're still with me, Thank you. If not, um, well, fuck you. So that's the end of the video. I will do an agility video and a top speed video soon. I know I said to one guy that I was going to do the agility video. Sorry, uh, I got a bit busy um, with family coming over and training and stuff like that. So, uh, yep, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the GoPro footage. It's a hell of a camera. Uh, I think it's £350. Uh, I got it for a present for my brother. Uh, it's amazing what it can do. I can talk to it. When I have my other camera, I'll show you. I can voice control, tell it to turn off, tell it to record, tell it to take a photo. There's no case, it goes straight underwater, how it is now. Um, and that's it, that is that. I'm closing the episode now. Okay, goodbye, see you later.